Hello everyone, my name is Piyush Sajdeva and in this video, I will show you how to stream your AKS log to Azure Blob Storage using Vector, which is a lightweight agent by Datadog. It allows you to quickly and easily store and access your AKS logs in a central location for long-term retention and further analysis. Um, you can stream your logs to any supported third-party application or a cloud-native service such as Splunk, AWS S3, Datadog, Azure Storage, and so on. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so before we do the actual hands-on, let's quickly see how does it look like uh, in your architecture. So we have your AKS cluster. We'll be first provisioning your AKS cluster. Let's call it AKS cluster. And then it has different namespaces. Let's say we have a cube system namespace. This is where your workloads are running. Let's call it test namespace. And this namespace, we will just keep it aside for vector. Right? So we have different namespaces and each namespace has a number of pods that will be running. So we will be using this tool called vector, which is a lightweight agent by Datadog. Right? So there is a pod. There is a daemon set running uh, inside your vector namespace for this. It will keep polling the namespaces, right? Let's say test namespace. It will keep checking it. And whenever there is a new log generated, it will pull that log okay, and move that to Azure blob storage because this is what we have specified as our destination. So this is your blob storage and how it is uh, authenticated with the blob storage. We could use storage access keys as well so that there is a secure connection. So it is authenticated with the access keys and it is not just responsible for forwarding the logs, but also it can make certain transformation in the log as per your specification. So there are three things that we need to aware of. First is source. Source in our case is AKS. Second is transform. Right? We cannot just use the logs as it is and we have to make certain changes in that like including and excluding certain fields because there'll be a lot of metadata in that log. So we will be making those changes using transform. Then we have sync. Sync is basically the destination that you configured in which the log should be updated. So sync in our case is Azure blob. So we will be configuring these three fields as part of our vector YAML and let's dive into the demo now. All right, so now let's jump into our Azure portal and I'll open the cloud shell from here. And this is our cloud shell. So let's go ahead and create a resource group to provision our resources. I'll use this Azure CLI command with az group create and the name of resource group and the location. Hit enter and we'll create a resource group for you. So now that our resource group is created, I'll go ahead and provision an AKS cluster using the command like this. az AKS create name of the resource group, name of the cluster, the node count and generate SSH key as the argument. I'll hit enter. It will take few seconds or maybe a couple of minutes and then your AKS cluster will be provisioned. After I've waited for a couple of minutes, the cluster is provisioned now. Let's quickly go ahead and verify. So let's go ahead to Kubernetes service and search for our server. So my server name was my AKS. My AKS cluster and I can see that it's been provisioned, right? So I'll click on that and I'll click connect. So now it is showing me the commands to generate the credential and to connect to the cluster. Instead, I can click on this open cloud shell and, and it will import the commands for you. So let's click over here, hit continue. And here it is. It says there is a cube config already exists. So I'll overwrite it. Let's overwrite. 
Okay, now let's run kubectl get nodes. And I can see that my node is ready and a cluster has been provisioned. So now let's just uh, perform a sample deployment so that we could uh, test our demo and we could just export our logs from this deployment to Azure Blob Storage using Vector. So I'll just quickly clear the screen and then paste this command, which is just creating an Nginx deployment. And it says namespace not found because we haven't created the namespace yet. So kubectl create namespace and I'll give this a name test ns. It's been created. Now let's run the command again. And my deployment is created as well. So let's verify the deployment quickly. Get deploy. And I'll give the namespace as test ns. And it says it is up to date and uh, the pods are ready. Okay, so now that we have created our AKS cluster, so our source is ready. Now let's create the destination as well, which is an Azure, which is an Azure blob storage. So I'll use a CLI command again. Okay, so this command will create an Azure storage account with the name storage use 1012. I'll hit enter. So the storage account is provisioned now. Now let's clear the screen again and provision a container inside that storage account using this command. So az storage container create name of the storage account and name of the container. Hit enter. And it's been created as well. So let's go ahead to the Azure portal and verify our storage account. Storage accounts. The storage push 1012. So see this is here. It's been created. And let's just see if the container is created as well. So here is the container. Click on that. And then you see AKS logs container has been created. Click on that. And there is no file as of now, but it should be populated soon with the AKS log as soon as we have our vector ready. Now let's jump into our vector config and implement vector. For that, let me open my VS Core editor, right? And this is our vector config. So the first is the resource request and limits. Uh, this is the resource request and limits as you see in Kubernetes as well. So nothing new in that. Then this service will be running on port 9090 by default, but you can alter the behavior by changing the port number and it is of type agent. It will be a lightweight agent. And then like the things that we have discussed uh, earlier in this video, there'll be three things that you need to focus on source, transform and destination, which is sync. So source is our Kubernetes log. And then we specify what namespace to look for. So for this demo will be, we have created test namespace. So we'll be using the same. If you, if you want all the namespaces, uh, to be part of this implementation, then just remove this entire line and you should be good. Then the next is transform In transform. We have this logic implemented because as I have told you earlier, the logs will contain a lot of metadata generated by vector. So it will be a good practice to include only the certain fields that we want, right? To make it easier to analyze and make it easier to read, right? So we are just using three fields, container name, message and timestamp. So this is how you can include any fields in the uh, vector logs. I'll uh, put down all the links to the vector documentation in the description section as well. So feel free to check that out, right? But for this demo, uh, this should be sufficient. Then we have sync, which is destination, how we are connecting to our Azure blob storage. So we have specified that type is Azure blob. This is the destination and container name is AKS logs. So vector will look for this container logs and upload the logs over there. And this is how the logs will be uploaded. So first it will create a folder with the name in this format, like year, month, date. Inside that you see a small uh, flash. So inside that it will create another folder with the name of your container. In our case, it will be Nginx. And then inside that there'll be another folder which will have the log. 
right? And then there are some other fields. You can specify the compression, tar, zz, or whatever you feel like. I have kept it none so that we could just read the log in a text format. And the encoding is JSON. So this is pretty much it. So I have missed one thing, which is the most important thing in this uh, config, which is the connection string. So I'll go back to my Azure storage account, which is over here. Go to storage account, which is over here. Go to the account. And on the left side, there'll be access keys over here, right? Side access keys. I'll just copy the connection string as show and copy it, right? Now I'll go back to my config file and paste the keys over here inside the double quotes, right? So I have pasted the key over here. Now I'll just copy the entire config YAML file and go back to our Azure portal. I'll create a new file vector config.yaml. I'll paste the content over here and that should be good. I'll just save the file. We have everything in place. Now let's run the step to install vector. So first I'll run the command to add the repo. Then repo update, it says already exists. So we should be good, but these are the steps that you have to perform. Okay, it says update completed successfully. I'll just clear the screen and run the command to install our vector. If you have created a new namespace for vector, that is fine, but I'll just use the same namespace, which is test NS. Uh, we have used a particular version 0.17.1 because the latest version has some issues. So this is what I have tested already. So that's why I have used it. So once that is done, you just hit enter and it says installing the release. Okay. It's uh, the log says it is successful. Now let's just clear the screen. Now let's see if the vector is uh, provisioned successfully. So it will be a daemon set I, has, I have said and namespace is test NS. So it says desired one, one is available. So I don't think there'll be any issues. So now the important part for which we have done the entire demo for which you have stayed with me till the end of this video. So I would not disappoint you and vector would not disappoint us. So let's go to the storage account and let's go to our container, right? Here is our container AKS log. And let's just wait for a few minutes. I'll just pause the video and I'll come back once it is updated or you can just hit Keep hitting refresh if you are following along with me in this demo. All right, I have waited for a few minutes and there it is. This is the folder that's been created with today's date. And then inside that there is a folder with the name Nginx. And here is our log. So let's download it. Hit download. And I'll open this log. And you see it has only three fields for each of the log. Let's me, let me put that into VS code so that it will be easier to understand. So create a new file. I'll use on. Okay. So these are all the logs that we have container name, message and timestamp. So this is when it has started and here is the message and that's the timestamp, right? So you can just try it out yourself and let me know if you are facing any issues. And this is not the end of uh, this video. So in this video, we have completed one use case on how to stream your AKS logs from AKS to Azure blob storage using a vector. But uh, in the next video, we will be taking it to the next step. How do we get an email alert notification whenever there is a new blob updated or added to the blob storage? So that's another important use case. We will be using Azure function for that. So don't worry about it if you haven't worked with Azure functions yet. So this, this was my first time as well. So I hope you can also do it. So I'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and please make sure to uh, like the video, subscribe the channel if you are new here and let me know if it was helpful. Thank you so much.